What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to Redemption with Jaden. Wow, feels feels good to say that again. It's been a while, but uh, it's good to be back. I'm excited to get out some more videos for you guys, and uh, I'm super excited to try out all these fancy new cards that we've got recently with the release of GOC Phase 2, which is now legal for tournament play. Um, that was September 1st, beginning of this month that those became legal. They came with a couple of other announcements that I should probably mention here, but I'm sure you know by now uh, that Ephesian Widow has been banned from constructed play. I believe uh, that might mean that in uh, the like booster draft and, and that kind of like sealed stuff that they're she's just a meek 2-2 hero now because that's how like Morn and Weep and Samuel have been played in uh limited categories so i'm pretty sure that's the case i just thought of that right now um but i don't know if that was actually covered in the announcement i can i had it pulled up like just a, a second ago okay um that's a negative play do that we decided to ban Ephesian widow from constructed play to stop this life in the sun is still legal for play so life in the sun still good Nothing about uh, non-constructed play. Uh, nothing about, like, or, yeah, limited. I, I don't know why I'm calling it non-constructed play. Anyways, um, so I, I believe that that just means that she's meek. I'm pretty sure that's how it works for other banned cards. But then also, uh, one that you may not have i mean you probably have heard because it was in the same announcement but it you know doesn't really seem important yet uh the cloud of witnesses daniel has also been banned from constructed play and that was kind of a preemptive thing because the son of god from i want to say it's the k deck uh it has a daniel reference and the cloud of witnesses daniel will let you just shuffle it from your discard pile back into your deck when he attacks and, you know, for some reason that just didn't seem like a a good thing to have in the game. <laughs> yeah, you know. uh, but I think having a Daniel Son of God is really cool, and I'm excited to utilize that, not only in decks that care about, like, OT good cards, so, like, David Hard After God, of course, uh, but then, like, specifically Daniel decks that are utilizing Foretelling Angel and, you know, other get other benefits from Daniel cards, I think, like, you know, if your Son of God gets reserved, you can get it back with uh, a Bendigo or something like that. I think you can take a good Daniel card from reserve. So just, you know, mostly foretelling Angel. But anyways, using it in Daniel decks should be pretty fun. Those are the announcements that happened while I was away. Those are kind of the, the big things. And the person who delivered those announcements was Joe Schaefer, who... He's been on the channel a few times here, and uh, he's now a Redemption Elder. So if you don't know who he is... Well, you're you're probably living under a redemption rock or or something like that, or you know a non redemption rock because the redemption rock feels like if you're living under that, that probably that means that you like you know everything about redemption and nothing else. Anyways, <laughs> it's it's been a long month and I've I've clearly had a lot to to think about now. I gotta just get it all out there. No, uh, we're gonna we're gonna hopefully not keep this or not not make this intro too long here but because uh, we got a fun game for you guys to watch so yep joe is now an elder uh that's awesome for him i mean i i feel like it's it's kind of just been a long time coming like he's been a play tester for for years and he's been you know super involved with the the community and you know uh i think that he was a very logical choice for that position, so uh, that's that's great. I'm glad to see the elder team growing as well, uh, just to, so we have more people that are you know really focused on keeping this game uh, not just alive but thriving and uh, you know, fun and enjoyable. So that's that's awesome. Uh, looking forward to enjoying Joe's contributions to the game uh, through playing it and making content such as this. So. Other things over the break, I really didn't do a whole lot of uh, deck building or uh, even playing. Like, I wasn't doing a whole lot Redemption related. I was just kind of, you know, taking, uh, taking a break. I did have a box opening video, which was 
on Jared's channel because of technical difficulties, because also, uh, I mean, I, I guess it was, it was partially during the break, uh, but it started, you know, before Nationals, midway through July, moved into a new house, which is where I am here uh, pretty soon, I mean, and by pretty soon, I mean eventually. <laughs> um, I plan to have stuff on the wall back here that, that makes the background look cool, like, I don't know, maybe some plaques or something from Nationals, uh, not just mine, but uh, maybe also Justin's, you know, we'll, we'll get we'll get the wall covered there and I think it'll be a pretty cool backdrop for your videos. I'm, I'm excited for that where we've got like plans in place, but we need the, the execution to, uh, we need a, an opportunity to do that. So be ready. It's going to look sweet. I think, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the deck building that I did do, uh, I did do a, a little bit over the break, and that was with contender decks, which uh, are not quite live as of, or not like you know quite. They're they're not on the website as of the release of this video, uh, but they are coming along, and hopefully they will be ready before um, the contender tournament, which is happening happening next Friday. So eight days from the release of this video, assuming it goes out on time. I haven't actually uploaded a video on this internet before, so. It should be fine. Um, but yeah, that, that should be live, or that uh, should be live on uh, Thursday, so then the, not tomorrow, not the, but the next Friday, Friday the 23rd, is when the online contender deck tournament is happening, which, yeah, I know, weird Friday. Uh, so check out the Discord for information on that. I believe Derek is uh, organizing and, and hosting that, so... Uh, that'll be pretty cool. I'm hoping that maybe we can get, like, uh, a bigger crowd than, than normal because it's on a, a different time. You know, a lot of people are you know, busy on Saturdays with, uh, you know, kids and, and uh, activities and whatnot. But Friday nights, a lot of people are like, oh, just got home from work and ready for the weekend. You know, don't want to do anything quite yet. So let's play some Redemption. I don't know. should be fun. I'm not positive that I'll be there, but <laughs> um, I I'm, I think so should be. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it'd be fun to you know, try out one of those new contender decks, assuming I have all the cards. I mean, they're all like GOC Phase 2 decks, and I've only opened one box of Phase 2, so uh, we'll have to see what I'm able to build here. But anyway, that's that tournament. Uh, another tournament that's kind of gotten some steam built up for it, I guess, is the... Uh, scroll around the block tournament that Rob M is hosting Rob M of Rob M Studios uh, he's hosting it's an in-person tournament in somewhere in New York where you know, his playgroup is and it's only scroll cards so the cards that look like all of these rotation cards you can't use but the ones that look like this altar of Ahaz you can't use because it's got the scroll so it's basically like classic but like Super classic. I don't know. Um, <laughs> maybe that's what it should be called. Super classic. I don't know. Scrolls only is, is you know, kind of cool too. And it, it makes it very clear what the format is. Um, so that should be pretty fun. I'm interested to see what deck lists and people run. If it's you know pretty similar to what the meta was like you know, before uh, the, you know, what, what are currently rotation cards started to be printed, so the I and J decks and the, the Rock of Ages 1026. Um, I mean, I feel like the, the meta at that per period was kind of the same for the you know, the few years following. I mean, like, I and J and, and ROA didn't add a whole lot to it other than, like, Scattered, which was important against the Fight by the Numbers stuff, but, like, you know, what we see, some Disciples, probably some Fight by the Numbers banding, and all that fun stuff. Uh, hopefully some judges as well. Get that Angel of the Oak going. Samuel's Edict. Even though I believe they're using the same, like the regular band list. So you can't use Samuel. But uh, anyways, that, that should be a fun tournament. And if you're in the area, you should go. Uh, hopefully Rob will get some uh, streaming on YouTube or Twitch or something. So keep an eye out for that as well. 
And last, but not least, with the announcements, I guess uh, maybe this should have gone with the band's announcement, but the, the new REG and Ordeer are uh, both live, so REG 8.2 and Ordeer 4.1 are both live now on the Cactus website and most likely also on Land of Redemption. Um, so go check those out. Uh, I have... I have to go in and update those bookmarks in my web browser so that I can get to them quickly. Uh, I haven't updated that yet, but those are available, and they have some of the... Uh, uh, were there new rules? I think just like new, or like clarifications, and like the ordeer has all of the, the like identifiers and stuff listed out and whatnot. So anyway, um, that's a... So this, this is already getting long, and I haven't even started talking about the deck yet. But, um, of course, the tournament that kind of began the break was Nationals, and uh, that was a blast. Uh, we had a great time in, in Iowa, or at least I did, and it, it seemed like everyone else did too. So uh, it was really great to see everyone there who was, and I'm really excited for next year when Nationals is going to be in Tennessee. Uh, hopefully you saw that announcement uh, either on my live stream or at Nationals or uh, later on. But yeah, it's going to be in, in Knoxville, Tennessee next year. I don't think the dates are set for that yet, but uh, the yeah should be around the same time. So I hope to see you guys there. If you've never been to a national tournament, it's just a great experience of uh, coming together with um, you know, mostly fellow believers but or like at the if you're not a believer that's you know totally okay and it's really just a, an uplifting like positive community of like people who uh you know love the game and who just you know love to be hanging out with with like, you know, like-minded people us uh strategy gamer nerds you know i don't know um uh, it's a good time and you know uh I encourage you guys to check it out, uh, especially if you're in the, the Knoxville, Tennessee area. I did happen to somehow uh, win Type 1 2 player this year, uh, even in the midst of the silly combo with uh, Ephesian Widow and whatnot. And um, the deck list for that is posted on the forums. I haven't done, I didn't really do a report for it which at this point, I don't know, it might be kind of late, um, trying to remember what all happened in, in each of my games, but uh, I don't know if I feel motivated at some point to do that. Maybe I will, but we got new cards and stuff to look at, and it was, it was a weird meta, so like, yeah, I don't know. You, you guys know the deck here. You've seen basically what, what the deck is. Uh, I suppose I could do a deck breakdown of that, but it, it's not new cards, so I don't know. If you guys want that, let me know in the comments, or yeah, just in the, in in the comments, I'll see that and uh, I will take that into consideration. Uh, but for now, we've got new cards to check out and play. So without further ado, let's get into this deck. Speaking of nationals, uh, Nicodemus the Seeker was the national promo. So you got one of these, I guess the Seeker and the Teacher. Uh, you got one of these for participating or I guess maybe completing an event at nationals so on one of the three days um, or on you know each of the three days you were able to participate in an event and for each one you completed you got a promo so um, he's actually he's he's really good uh, he's a 2-4 white hero you may draw X which is the number of your meek NT lost souls which is limit three and he can ban to an empty tomb hero and that cannot be negated so on the the hero side, it's a. I mean, I'd go so far as to say, an insane meek, lost soul synergy, like the, it's it's like a free, three. I mean, you, know, you might not always be at three, but, um, it's it's just a free draw, and then he bans to a hero, and it cannot be negated. So like you're just you just put him into battle, and then you bring in one of your other. You know, heroes, if you don't want to band, he's got pretty good initiative numbers, and he's also an empty tomb hero, so he's just got synergy with uh, 
with the empty tomb offense and meek lost souls and it, it kind of makes me want to just play meek lost souls every time i play empty tomb now um i don't know if that's you know where this strategy will go but um yeah i think that that's i mean he's a very he's a he, of all the reasons to play Meek Lost Souls, he's one of the better ones, especially with Empty Tomb. Um, then also, on the defense, like if you're using Pharisees, then you might as well, or like he, he's a pretty natural include with that as well, and he doesn't need to be with Meek Lost Soul synergy. So if you're just playing a Pharisees defense, but you're not using all the Meek Lost Soul stuff, like I think there's enough stuff to not use the, the Meek Lost Soul focus with pharisees uh, that you can do that and he's definitely good there um, it's upside down so i'll read it for you if blocking alone you may draw two this card and nt gray enhancements used by this card cannot be negated so lots of not being able to be negated on this guy um, <clears throat> blocking alone getting that draw two is pretty sweet and he's a seven nine so he doesn't get initiative super easily but there's a lot of banding going on right now and so this guy as a blocker is super solid. Get your NT Gray Enhancements CBN and uh, you know play things like um, Bind Growers Rebellion to just you know do a massive board wipe of heroes, I guess. Um, and I mean obviously other cards too. I didn't even include Vine Growers in this deck. I wanted to, but I couldn't quite fit it. But uh, yeah, lots of options to use him. A very versatile character. So I was like, eh, let's build a let's build the deck around him. So we put the empty tomb offense together. We put the Pharisee defense together, and it it's it's Pharisees and Romans because like Pontius Pilate is bonkers. He's uh, super good, and Denarius is you know an, uh, a very solid card as well. So it just kind of seemed like it it fit pretty well. Um, you know, sometimes, or in, in many cases, you might want to, like, just go all in on Pharisees if you're playing Meek Lost Souls to really maximize the synergy there, but I, I thought I'd try a mix here. It it kind of started out with, like, a massive defense that was a mix of both, and uh, as I was cutting it down, I just decided to uh, keep the, the Roman stuff going in there, uh, but definitely... Still, like, Unity for Sheol and getting some of the Lost Soul hiding stuff with just a Hirelang and even Burials. So that's kind of what the the defense is all about. Um, just getting the, the Synergy stuff. Even Withered Seed is in there. Uh, it's actually a pretty solid card. I wanted to kind of do, like, the hand control focus in here, but that uh, I didn't quite have space for that and the Meek Lost Soul stuff and just, you know, everything I, I tried to squeeze in here. Uh, if you haven't noticed by now, I mean, I, I can't imagine many of you are like always counting my decks right away, but maybe you noticed when I was over here. Uh, the deck is currently 56 cards, which some could argue it's because I'm doing a lost soul hiding strategy, and um, that's, you know, what I wanted to, uh, I was, that was the goal. Um, that's, not really the case, but it's kind of partially the case. Uh, part of it was just being lazy, and part of it was like, I'm just trying out new cards, trying out a new thing. I'm not trying to make this deck super, you know, uh, like top level competitive. Uh, it's just a, you know, putting two themes together and and seeing what clicks and what works, what doesn't. So hopefully that's what you guys get out of this video. And if you want to build empty tomb and, and you know maybe pair it with a similar defense, you can uh, use this list and. Just you know, trim out what you don't want, or you can just play it at 56 because it's a. At the beginning of a, any season, I think it's important just to, you know, play around with different things. I mean, if you're just starting out, you definitely and you want to become competitive. I think it's good to focus on, you know, this is this is my deck. Like this is the deck that I'm gonna you know memorize backwards and forwards and know all the plays and. Uh, you know, know exactly what to search for in every situation, all that kind of stuff. Like, you you do want to have that kind of deck, but if you're a more seasoned player and you've, you know, uh, or you just want to you know try out different strategies because that's what you're into, and you're not necessarily trying to be like the most competitive. Then at the beginning of the season, that's just a time to try out the new cards and uh, see what's good, see what combos you can find. 
and uh, I think that there I mean that's kind of what I'm doing here uh, just doing the the empty tomb stuff so the way I started with that is just by grabbing all of the empty tomb heroes in the set putting them in the deck laying them out and being like all right who's you know who does what and who gets cut um that's that's profound no I'm I, I like that I'm gonna use that probably all the time uh Gabriel is not empty tomb but he's kind of like yeah we just, we just put him in right I'm pretty sure he just goes in um yeah, Gabriel is just super good. Uh, so he goes in most decks now. Um, I also wanted to include Delivered. I felt like that made sense because we've got the green on Peter and, and the green on John. Uh, I'm not going to go through and cover every new card because that would take much longer than we're already going here. Um, but I am... Uh, you, you'll see them throughout the game and, and that kind of stuff, and you should look at the list yourself. Uh, yeah, you can find that on Land of Redemption, the card information uh, area. So you can just look at the, the set list there or just pull it up on your own lackey. I suppose that that's probably the easiest if you do have a uh, lackey, which I guess that was the other thing that was over the break was uh, that is, you know, is, is fully up to date with GOC Phase 2 and promos and uh, should have pretty much everything in there. The only thing that I think we're missing are the uh, GOC only promos, which are uh, were, were revealed like the week after uh, the, the new plugin went live, so they didn't get included in there. And then also the um, you know, tokens that GOC Phase 2 creates, or some of the, the token creating cards so the, the tokens are not yet in Lackey. Uh, so that's something that will be worked on at some point, um, either by myself or, or someone else on the unofficial Lackey team, I guess. Um, but anyways, Empty Tomb, you know, create tokens here. Uh, we're just trying to bounce evil characters and get blocked from hand to get benefits. That's kind of the, the theme of... Uh, empty tomb which it's a it's a difficult strategy to like really focus on and build around because like some cards you actually want to have you know, a lot of evil characters in play or like some abilities you know, it, it's kind of hard to like you know if they have a lot of evil characters well then you know uh, will bouncing or bouncing one or two of them won't really do anything and uh, it's a little you know, it's it's a little bit tough to play, but I think if you have enough bounce effects, and especially the ones that can bounce like you know a bunch of characters, um, then yeah, you know, that's that's really where this is going to this offense is going to thrive. Um, but also things like Joseph of Arimathea, he's he's is he's kind of cool because he synergizes like both ways a little bit, or like I mean he's he synergizes, but then he's also like well actually I don't really want their evil characters in their hand because I want to be able to use the, the choose ability um, so his territory class if I want to use a search you can bounce a character to territory that's a great way to uh, bounce your opponent's characters except for the part where um, you bounce the, or like most of the searching your opponent's going to do is going to be on their turn so you just bounce their characters and then they put them back down a little a little bit of a downside there, but I guess if they use like a dominant or something on your turn, th or like a triggered ability, so like um, golden cherubim, you know, if you if they have that active and you draw, they search and then you get to bounce one of their evil characters or something. That's a a way to utilize that part. Uh, but then if attacking, you can convert him to meek to choose an evil human to block. So uh, he gets that choose the blocker aspect as well, which is very strong and uh, so yeah I included almost all of the empty tomb heroes in here but I did cut one of the uh, garden gals I guess uh, Salome Salome um, I didn't quite read her like <laughs> correctly I guess the um, this actually came up during the game that you're about to watch because uh, LOJ games my opponent he was running Salome, and I was like, uh, that's kind of weird, because he wasn't playing 
an empty tomb deck, I was like, oh, that's the one character I didn't run in that in my empty tomb deck. Uh, she says, if blocked from hand, protect lost souls and this card from evil cards. For some reason, when I was reading it and like just going through the deck, I I kind of skipped over the this card part. And I was like, oh, protect lost souls from evil cards. Like, yeah, that's all right. And then enhancements are regardless of protect abilities. If we convert to meek, yeah, that's all right, but not great. Protecting herself from evil cards, no, that's that's pretty good. Um, it does effectively become, you know, cannot be interrupted, except it exactly can be interrupted. <laughs> like, um, So something that was like negate a card or negate characters in battle, if you convert her to meek, it would not negate the protection. But if you interrupt the battle it would pause her protection and then it wouldn't reactivate uh, because interrupt the battle targets ongoing abilities that were activated in battle, which that protect would be. And then if there, if the ability is no longer in battle, then it won't reactivate. And since she's converted to meek, the ability would not reactivate. So it's, it's actually a similar thing with like Noah, the, the righteous. Uh, if you attack with him, convert him to meek to prevent cards, become, you know, no arrest and comfort. If you have something that, like, cannot be prevented that interrupts the battle, so say, like, tenants kill the sun, if you have a meek lost soul, you play this, it interrupts that prevent, and then it doesn't reactivate. Um, that's something that is not super intuitive about the rules, but if you, you know, read that section of the, um, the rules and, like, interrupt the battle and, you know, ongoing abilities, that kind of stuff, um, then... I think it's relatively clear, um, but that's something that I just felt like I should clarify because it just came up. So, anyways, um, yeah, other, I mean, that that's kind of the, the goal of this offense is just getting the block from hand, uh, synergy or the benefits, I guess, um, and we get that also with, like, Book of the Law, and um, Empty Tomb to kind of help set that up, bouncing evil characters. Book of Law helps set that up as well, of course. And then we've got Lost Child of Found, which can bounce up to three other cards. Uh, I don't have any nativity heroes that can really use it. I've got Gabriel, but he's not white, so uh, he cannot play Lost Child of Found. But uh, there's also... Oh, that one just bounces heroes. Uh, there was one other... Oh yeah, Life in the Sun lets you bounce a character as well. So there are options for that. Uh, their Wheat and Tears was a consideration, and maybe it does belong in the deck. It's the silver one that lets you uh, bounce all um, all evil characters. Um, and also has that star ability to play a Lost Soul from a deck, which is sweet when you're playing Meek Lost Souls and running the first. But just, like, uh, it was... Like I said, 56, a lot of cards, uh, and there was a lot to consider, and a lot of good cards that ended up getting cut. So, that's pretty much the offense. Crown of Thorns, oh, I love this card. Uh, I was so happy when I saw this card was, like, in contention for uh, being a part of the set, and just this ability in general. So, uh, bounce all hero tokens, yeah, that's, that's cool. Uh, negate heroes and good enhancements in opponents' territories. That's pretty sweet, but the best part cannot be prevented. So it's a hard counter, I guess, or you know, a way to stop those pesky negate neutrals heroes. And I'm I'm a, I'm a big fan. I think it's pretty good. It's going to uh, compete, I think, with Golden Calf in in this slot of Golden Calf in a lot of decks. So it's kind of uh, just like another option for that, but it's not, it's not the same. So you, you know, you really want to run both, but um, you might not be able to fit both of them in, and so you got to choose one. And in some decks, one's going to be better in some decks the other. And those are the kind of things that I, you know, really like about games like this, where uh, you have a variety of cards that do similar things, but not quite exactly the same thing and so you you see a lot more variety in in games and, and decks and that's really cool so shout out to that card i guess other synergies kind of from outside goc phase two or just you know goc in general bethlehem 
I thought that that would be a pretty cool uh, or pretty good include here if people, uh, your opponent's playing you know, multi-brigade evil characters, then every time they put one down in territory, you get to draw a card, and then you can just bounce it on your turn so that they play it again and play it again, you know, print it to battle, that kind of stuff. Uh, so I just thought it'd be a nice little value card there. Not sure if it's really if it's worth it, but uh, definitely thought it would be fun to test. Other things, let's see before we get into the game here. Finally, um, I put in shipwreck because I figured Herod's Temple could be an issue for trying to bounce my opponent's evil characters. So I think that that's important, and. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, Peter plus Herod's Temple is really good, so just be aware of that. Uh, if you get, like, Peter on turn one, you can just attack, convert uh, convert him to Meek, grab Herod's Temple, and then activate it to, to toss. Like, the banding to a Disciple is it's good, but just a 10-12 by himself with Herod's Temple. I mean, you wait for them to block first, of course, but... Uh, he's just, yeah, I think that's really good. Um, and then the fact that I was kind of focusing on Herod's Temple, I mean, like, with characters like Domitian and, and Simon the Host that have big uh, butts, big big toughness, and like Emperor Claudius, um, then, you know, Herod's Temple becomes really solid. And then, of course, protecting the characters in your territory. But with the first, it's even better, because you can, you know, max out the your activations of the first um, each turn, each time you're in battle. Um, doesn't have to be anti-human, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't work with, like, Gabriel and Legion of Angels. Legion of Angels, that would that'd be just gross. Um, so let's look at the reserve. There are definitely some interesting choices in here. Uh, I wanted to maximize the uh, availability, I guess, or accessibility of the cards in the reserve, and so uh, I had a uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way to get a New Testament artifact out of reserve, or maybe I'd, I'm making that up, and maybe there was a card that did do... Oh, yeah, top deck a New Testament artifact from reserve. So you can do it with Angel, an Angel Appears. But, I mean, mostly you're going to be grabbing these with something like Good Seed or Fifth Seal, grabbing good enhancements from reserve, and using them either as artifacts or good enhancements, because both of them fit well in this deck in both categories. Um... Legion of Angels I put in because an angel appears, lets you uh, get one, get a gospel angel from reserve or deck of one as hand advantage. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have another way to get, uh, oh yeah, that's right, yeah, Reassurance of Jesus can also let you uh, grab Legion of Angels from reserve. So uh, I figured putting an angel in there would be the best option, I don't know, maybe uh, Solom goes in that slot, and there, you know, we add another way to get uh, empty tomb heroes or just heroes in general from reserve, uh, or maybe one of the other heroes here goes in that slot. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. I just figured Legion of Angels was a nice hero to have by itself, and it's great to ban in to with Gabriel and and all that. Uh, and then these enhancements are like basically kind of the, the finishers of the deck. Where it's like, okay, you've been bouncing their evil characters, and finally they have enough where you can bounce like the the best of them and kind of you know guide their block, but um, you can't necessarily bounce all of them, so they don't necessarily have to block from hand. So that's when we put in Authority of Christ. We drop He is Risen. Uh, you know, it's especially good on uh, this one, Mary Mother of James which, if blocked from hand, good gospel enhancements cannot be negated by her. Uh, the downside is that, like, if they're blocking from hand, they probably don't have that many evil characters for you to set aside. So that's definitely why these are in reserve, because, like, they're going to be most effective at the end of the game when, you know, like, you've been you know, bouncing characters and they kind of just, you know, are finally becoming too numerous. Um, but just, and then the band to a New Testament angel, that's... That's pretty good. Uh, that that was another reason why Legion of Angels was in here, because it's a great hero to band in, get a little extra drawing, but also just band to you know, Comforting Cherubs, and then band in one of your other females, or just band in Gabriel, because you can interrupt their battle winner, band to your 
or set aside their territory and band to Gabriel to negate their battle winner and then just win the battle by the numbers or, or something like that. I don't know. It's cool. Uh, emptying the tombs. Just a, a kind of a, a finisher of like, okay, they don't want to have to block from hand, so they put all their evil characters down, then you resurrect a bunch of heroes and you know, paralyze their whole defense. I don't know. I thought that would be kind of cool, but it's maybe not necessary. I don't know. Good way to get your heroes back. And defense, uh, not a whole lot to explain here. Just some stuff that you can get out with. Clinging to power and Denarius, maybe. Um, also, Supercilious Scribes. And... Yeah, Expert Lawyer, he comes out with... Uh, the Golgotha that was in here at one point, and also Proud Pharisee and you know, Super Saiyan Scribes, and so uh, just a decent end of the game evil character to have, or kind of you know close to the end of the game evil character to have, just to start you know, recycling some of your uh, evil enhancements. So anyway, sorry about the super long intro, but you know I'm I'm getting back, getting back into the groove. Let's go ahead and get into the game with LJ Games, which this is round one of the Lackey Grand Prix number five, I think. I don't know. I feel like the last one was number five, so maybe this is number six. It's It's been a while since we've run one of these because of Nationals and all that. But I believe that there are going to be five rounds, so I think what my goal is going to be is to try out one of the new... Uh, themes in GOC Phase 2 every week, so I'm going to be pairing up uh, something new with probably something old. Maybe I'll splash a little bit of the other new in there, but uh, I I don't want to do, like, you know, new, new, because then it just kind of bombards you guys with, like, information on, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's okay. You guys are smart and can figure stuff out, and you're trying stuff out yourselves. But I just figure, like, okay, if we focus on this theme, you know, this the, the this empty tomb offense, it already kind of worked out well with the the gray that you guys you know are already familiar with. But if we just try out the empty tomb offense for this video, and then you know next week we'll do something else, and uh, by you know, the end of I, I believe it's five rounds in the Lackey Grand Prix, if I didn't say that already, and so it, I think it should work out. And then like once we get to Top Cut. If, if I get to top cut, I'm not I'm not that uh, confident. But um, if we get there, then you know, just play whatever uh, I thought was the best or good, or maybe some of the new combo decks that people are coming out with, trying to win on turn one again, or uh, trying to I guess shuffle the resurrection back into your deck after you play it. Uh, that, that was a, a cool little combo that Rob uh, Smith discovered. So if you haven't heard about that, go check out uh, the Land of Redemption article that I haven't fully read yet, but I'm, I got the gist of it, and I should probably go read the rest of it after I'm done editing this video. So anyways, game time. Let's do it. After a quick message from our sponsor. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Your Turn Games, a retailer of Redemption CCG with various products such as singles, sealed product, and great deals on bundles like battle boxes and grab bags. They also have pre-built decks such as challenger decks in the $55 range, contender decks in the $80 to $95 range, and champion decks in the this deck just placed at nationals last year dollar range. They also have card supplies to keep you caught up on all of your gaming needs, and at no cost to you, they have redemption resources such as the latest redemption news, rules, tournaments that are coming up, and redemption content such as this. So head on over to yourturngames.biz today, and a big thank you to them for supporting this content. Alright, uh, I've started the timer, so let's do it. Alright. Okay. Alright. Got a lost soul for me, that's good. Yeah. I did not draw any. Alright. Looks like I'll be going first. You can choose, you don't You don't have to decide to go first if you don't want to. <laughs> I know, but I want to go first. Alright, fine. Fair enough. Alright, so star abilities first. Yep. So I'll do Virgin Birth. Seems good. 
Yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but I might be a little bit better at deck building than when I thought uh, Mill wins games. <laughs> <laughs> and is that the last time we played? Oh boy. Yeah, I thought that Will w Mill would win a game in Redemption. Yep. Actually, times. no, I think we played like one game in between that. Did we? Okay, yeah. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, yeah. So you're, I guess we both get to see each other's hand then. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I want to look at your reserve. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. All right. So uh, you can do your stars. All right. Let's take a look at your hand. Play lost yep. soul from your deck, and I will yeah. top deck a good dominant from deck. I think. Oh. I don't know. Um, what do you got? What do you got? All right, some nativity stuff and some Herods. I suppose it could just yep. be angels, but you got virgin birth, so probably, probably some white stuff in there. Herodes stuttered. Or maybe, maybe we don't know. Maybe we'll <laughs> we'll, we'll see. That's true. You could have just put a bunch of random cards in here to throw me off. Yeah. Um. <laughs> All right, but no visible ways to generate lost souls, as far as I know. So that's nice. Um, let's see. Let's go to your deck. Go to yeah, others. Seth just said good luck to me. So. <laughs> you didn't say good luck to me. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good luck, fun, all that. Good lunch, have fries. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, my brain doesn't work. <laughs> um, let's, uh, let's top deck three woes. You know something that's, that's kind of funny? What's There's that? a site called Fortress. Uh, oh yeah, Fortress of Antonia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Early versions of this deck had it. Yeah, that's that's one that I think would be kind of fun to build around with like Herods or. Oh yeah, totally. One hundred cards deck. One hundred card deck with that thing is just hilarious. Yeah, get some of those warrior class angels and whatnot, centurions maybe. But, all right, that's all my stars. Good to kick us off. All right, all right. So I suppose I will put down the P to the O to the Z. Uh huh. Because you know how it rolls. Put down that. Uh, we'll put down that. Put down that, I suppose. Um, I'm shaking. Uh, we're gonna go for. Yeah, we're gonna go Gotha. That'll grab me a gospel evil character, pretty much. Mm hmm. So the big question is which gospel evil character do I want? I think we're going to have to go with Herod's Guard. He seems pretty good. Yeah, I, pl I was playing uh I was playing Herod's in Booster and then Herod's Guard was just the most cracked card. It, it just was so clutch. <laughs> yeah. Like I only lost one game by more than one lost soul and that was to Luke Marshall. Wow. Yeah, he's he's pretty solid. Uh did yeah, I have no play idea testing how with he Herod's and... nationals yet. Oh, I was, I was talking about Herod's guard, but Luke too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But Herod's guard, yeah, he's he's pretty good. Um, another big thing about that was um, I forget what it's called. Uh, what is it? Doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna go in with Mag Multi. D2. Mm -hmm. Get that nice draw too. All right. Well. Um, I will not block. Alright, um, I'll pop down TSA, and then I'll play Wages. Mm-hmm. Then, I suppose Wages will have to get me Delivered. And then Delivered is going to play, um, Your Worst Nightmare. No... Uh, uh, Alright, your turn. 
Alrighty, let's draw some cards. No lost souls, no stars. Um, let's, let's see, she reserves good cards. Golden calf, okay. Um, let's start out with a Sheol. Oh. Put down a proud Pharisee. Oh, you're running that. Okay. And, hmm. I mean, yeah, that seems decent. Alright, I'm just going to make a rescue attempt with, uh, ooh, I suppose I don't really need to draw. Okay, uh, let's go out with Gabriel. I will yeah. negate an evil card, which will be Herodias's daughter. Yep. Only one that really makes sense. And I will ban to John the Fisherman. Yep. And I will reveal... I guess I'll reveal the three woes that you already know about to toss the next evil enhancement. Yep. And I will not draw two. Alright. As much as I would like to. Herod's guard. Yep. And Herod's guard is going to... Uh, he's gonna... Wow, I, I need to rethink my deck building decisions. I'm gonna go with this, I guess. <laughs> and then... That's going to apparently not grab anything. Uh, choose nothing to attack because I I don't I don't have brain cells. Um, <laughs> you get to discard a like, random card from a reserve at least. Oh wait, no, never mind. You can't even do that in the first round. Yeah, <clears throat> so I guess I'll die and just give you the hopper because I, I I miscalculated. I miscalculated <laughs> my brain. I miscalculated my head. So. Well, normally Herod the Great is a great option. Yeah, except I uh, didn't English my... Yeah, exactly. I, I didn't brain cell. <laughs> uh, let's put down Herod's Temple. Alright. And... Dean's Bible. Uh, hmm. Is that worth it? Hmm. Nah, not worth probably it, not. Probably not. All right, I'm just gonna pass the turn. All right. Oh, how how fun! Mm -hmm. Now now they're all uh now they're all flooding out. <laughs> oh my! This, this is more flood than Jay Chambers. <laughs> oh no! All the right. Lost uh, soul flood has begun. You're just you're just making up for all the lost souls I'm not drawing. So I appreciate that. Yep, uh, we're gonna go up. Chamber. Yeah. Speaking of chambers! <laughs> uh, I guess we'll do this. Okay. And, huh. I suppose I'll do... Uh... Hmm. I think I'm just going to go in with Legion, who will draw two. Yep, man. Give all these big angels banding or er, drawing abilities. Yeah. Um. Well, I still don't think it makes sense for me to block, so I will not do that. I'm gonna put down. Uh. Yeah, I'm gonna put down Herodias. And then I think I'm gonna play Herod's Treachery. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to want to grab a grip of the first. Seems yeah, I good. Think that's, I think that's the move. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put this down and pass. Okay. So we're stopping all of my things. Yep. 
Uh, I guess my neutral cards still work, so that's that's nice. So far. <laughs> At this point, yeah. So far. Hmm. Well, I still did not draw a lost soul. I love how we're both using the same deck for the first time. The same deck for the first time? Well, not. Well, you know what I mean. I don't oh, mean we're both. Yeah, yeah. Same. We're both running a deck that we yeah. haven't run before. Yeah. Yeah, we're both doing the same thing. We're running the like same kind of situation. We don't exactly. Well, I mean, we do know what we're doing, but we don't exactly. Do right. I mean, it's a, it's a new season. That's what you got to do. Yeah. New cards. Yeah. Um. I'm going to okay, be honest, I'm a CBP. big fan of the next set being Israel's Rebellion. I feel like that, that just Redemption doesn't have enough of that, honestly. Yeah, I think it's, it's pretty cool. I want. Like, I'll take it. More Exodus stuff. More, like, I'll, I, I like that. I'll take it. Any day. Yeah, there's definitely not a whole lot of that in rotation, so that'll be, be good to have some more of that in... Yeah. Be viable. I'm gonna activate Daenerys and we'll go to my deck for where to go. There he is. Yep. Emperor Domitian. Yep, and then you're gonna do the thing I would assume. Um I might wait a little bit. Um let's yeah. I, I can see why you'd be uh, implored to wait. Yeah, I'm not a huge huge fan of that priesty guy. Yep. Um, so let's see. Just say I have an idea. Okay, so I think here's what we're going to do. We're going to... Um, Gonna put down Emperor Domitian. Okay. Going to rescue with. Uh, yeah. Okay. You are not drawing souls. I know. I'm gonna try though. I'm, I am gonna try. All right. Uh, so I'm gonna go with Gabriel. I'm going yep. to negate the Priest of Zeus. E C B I. Yep, I'll just admit, but negating him for the phase, he might reactivate. We'll see. Well, uh, he's CBI, so I don't think you can negate him, but okay. Oh, like, yeah, I can still target him. Right, you can target him, yeah. obviously. Right now, he's still working, though. Yeah. So, uh, I'm going to ban to John. Okay. Then I will reveal three woes, so toss the next evil enhancement. Yep. I will not draw two. Okay. Um... I'm going to play the three woes as good. Okay. And I will negate your Punisher. Okay. And then I'm going to play the Resurrection. And we're going to grab... I feel like I'm in trouble. <laughs> I'm gonna grab the empty tomb. Yep. And I'm gonna grab Joseph of Arimathea. I like him. I like him. I ended up getting empty tomb and booster at Nationals. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. I, yep. I, I thought it was fun. It was a. It's kind of what I wanted to start out with for. Uh, yeah. That. All right. So I can ban to up to three anti-human heroes. Can't grab any of your dudes. Unfortunately, but I will go with Joseph. I'll ban uh, Joseph. Uh, I will convert him to Meek, and I will choose the Priest of Zeus to block. Okay. Um, okay. Unfortunately, um, the question is the big question is do I want to do what I want to do? Or do I not want to do it? <laughs> I think... That's a, uh, that's a big question. Just remember, the next evil enhancement is tossed. Yes, I am aware. Um, let's... Um... Hmm. 
man. I don't think I can save him. This is not going according to plan. Uh, I'll give you this. Sweet. And the resurrection is, uh, it's quite good. Yeah. yeah. Don't suppose you drafted one of those with your, your booster deck, did you? Uh, no, I did not. Ah, uh, unfortunate. I didn't get any ultra rares, actually. Hmm. You know, I played this one guy. He he got Angel Party, and he got AOC. Really? <laughs> and I, and I was like, bruh, bruh. And I was running Herods and all, and then he just nuked my territory and all that. And I was like, bruh. I didn't <laughs> even get Herod's Temple. That was the one Herod card I didn't get, aside from like, I don't know what the aside from. Maybe it was um, it was Archelaus. That was the Herod I didn't get. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna pop my Daenerys, and I did draw a lost soul. So okay. here we go. Yeah, um, still can't play enhancements. You're still negating characters in my territory. <clears throat> yeah, I can't go to the reserve. But... Because you neglected to well as that. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll, we'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. Um, Back, I'm at nine cards. So I guess I will um, I guess I'll put down the comforting cherubs and I will yep. bounce your Herodias All right. with empty tomb. And then I will pass the turn. Great. Um no way. Good. No way. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I like so many souls. Um, I'm pretty nice sure that's life. pretty sure that's all of them, right? Yeah. yeah. So I've got your hopper and the other one rescue. <laughs> yep. Um. Okay. Um. I guess I'll put this down. Start. I mean, on in the right on the bright side, at a certain point, they stop hurting yeah. you and kind of help more because you know now you've got you know like crowds to protect your hand and you know retribution to pseudo protect your hand you know yeah i suppose i'm gonna put down elizabeth and i don't know how much i care about you honestly i think i don't care at all so i'm just going to let you under deck the thing cool and i'm going to get the heavenly host and he's going to do his thing mm-hmm and then... So, under deck, the lost soul. Yep, and I'm going to make even more bad decisions. <laughs> um, don't you worry. Uh, I will play... Annunciation, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you know what I'm getting. Yeah, it seems good. Yep, and unfortunately, I will uh, have to play that... And I'm going to reveal this for now to mill top of your deck. And then I'm going to draw four. Got my reassurance of Jesus. Yep. Okay. Suppose that works. And then Gabriel, get another experience thing. Patmos into Matthew. Not that he matters now, but he did at one point, I guess. <laughs> then, um, man, I'm going to play Emmaus Road mm -hmm. into everybody's favorite hero. Mm -hmm. then, I'm going to trigger shield to underdeck your Punisher. Oh, you can hit my... Land of Bondage? Yep, Mini Lost Soul. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that she'll work that way, actually. Yep. Alright, well, I'm going to play Crowd's Choice. That and then is good or evil? Choice. I'll grab me Shipwreck. And then uh, Shipwreck's going to get rid of Sheol, so. Uh, there you go. Comes back, Punisher comes back, and uh, you're not. Yep. And then 
I think I want to make a very terrible decision. <laughs> and do this again. So I'm going to mill the top card of your deck again. Sure. Withered Seed. Not bad, not bad. And then uh, casually just draw six. And then I'll play Herod's Guard. Uh, play Moses, Friend of God. Do um, wow. Uh, play foreign wives, and then I'll play wages on foreign wives, and then wages will get Archlaus from my reserve. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put foreign horses on the grip of the first. Mm -hmm. Play. Mass Road to get a star card from my deck, if I even have any at this point. Um, yeah, we'll do the an, an angel appears, and then an angel appears will get me into Res Revealer. There's, There's my neutral one. cards. Yep. I will play Angel on Domitian. Okay. And then I suppose I will make a rescue with Gabriel, who will negate your proud Pharisee. And then he will ban to a gospel hero, so I'm going to ban to your John, who will draw to. And then uh, before you block. I'm going to play Mayhem. Uh, and then, unless your hand's protected, you can do that too. Cool. Um, yep. And then, your block. Right, I'll draw my six. And it's negated. Oh. <coughs> nice. Your first is negated, that's, that's fun. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so you did not reveal with John, you just drew two, right? Right. Okay. Yeah, I only had one card in my hand, so I don't know what that would have Right. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Well, you've got so much stuff in your territory that I'm I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah. Um, I think the answer is, let's see, you're a fourteen twenty-three. Okay. Yep. Can you do that? Or could you, yeah. Let's actually block with Nicodemus the teacher. All right. And since he's blocking alone, I will draw two. Yep. And <clears throat> um, I will uh, minus two. I suppose you already played angel, so I assume so. Um. Yeah. Uh, you're initial. All right. I will play. Let's see. This is your John, so how much risk are you willing to put in? Eh, I don't know. He's already he's already put in some work. Yeah. I um. I'm gonna play clinging to power. Okay. And I'm gonna go to. Oh, I guess I can't go to my reserve, can I? So you got Herodias. Okay. So I'll go to my deck. All right. Um, that's going to trigger Jonah, by the way. And, yep. uh, your woes is back into your deck now. Alright. Um, do you look the... I want you, uh, be changing triggers and all. Band or protectability. Um, hmm. We're playing at the exact same time that, uh, Matt and Jeremy are playing, which is interesting. 
Yeah, I saw that. They had their game going. Okay, uh, so we'll grab Terrifying Beast. Ah, uh, it's Terry. Terry. Uh, I guess we can uh -oh. shortcut that. And I will use it to reserve a hero in battle, which I think okay. will be... Um, we got six cards in hand. Hmm. I think it'll be John. Alright, that goes to your reserve, and you'll never get him back. <laughs> and uh, then I will... Then it will be what I would only assume to be my initiative, these... because it is now... <clears throat> yeah, it's now stalemate. Uh, I'm going to activate my Herod's Temple. And reserve my top card, okay. which apparently is a lost soul. And we'll start tossing enhancements. Okay. Alright, uh... I think that... Wow, that's not good for me. Uh, I think that you're gonna get blocked here then. Sweet. The wows are key words, in my opinion. If you don't pay attention to the while, then uh, you're not gonna be in good shape. Right, yeah. It's a big thing. Um, yeah, I think I'll just do Justice Seeker into um, Lost Anointing, and then I'll kill your Nicodemus. Uh, he's protected, I think, right by Herod's uh, Temple. He is protected by Herod's Temple, I would. I would have forgotten that. That's my bad. Well, uh, too late now. I'm gonna play like a man and just pass. Cool. Uh, I'll draw my three. You dope. Um, we'll not use that star. Okay. How do we do this? What all do we have to to turn off in order to do things? I'm pretty sure that. This has to happen, so I'm going to activate Crown of Thorns. Yep. Uh, so I guess that bounce your, bounces your Heavenly Host tokens. Yep. And so now you still got Herodias, Punisher, Distressed, Golden Calf. Okay. Um, so I, I still can't do too many things. Game. It's kind of an odd game, I'm going to be honest. It is strange. Um... I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> kind of wish I still had my three woes. That's that's what's happening. Yep, that's that's uh, that was the plan. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Make you wish you had it, and then you realize you don't have it. And, uh, you're sad. <laughs> you don't have it. That's kind of I cool. am sad, indeed. Honestly, it, um, not gonna lie, I'm so, I, I can't, I wouldn't be able to tell. I wouldn't be able to tell your voice has no emotion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, let's see. So my hero abilities currently do work with the number of brigades I have. Yeah. Um, yeah, except they don't because I have distressed. Well, in, ter in, in battle they work. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. Um, what existing is. <laughs> I have lost all train of thought because it's late. <laughs> um, let's see. Right. <laughs> yeah, this is. Um... I've been more tired than this before. I had to stay up for seven for like 30 hours straight for my ride to nationals <laughs> yikes yeah I, I yeah my brain uh, it wasn't working properly <laughs> <laughs> I 
And then immediately, at least I got some good sleep enough to play booster and do not horrible. Yeah, that's good. And then beat the guy who got seventh at type one. So that was nice. Yeah. All right. Here's what I think we're gonna try. I don't think it's gonna work, but you know, we'll see. Um, I will go out there with Gabriel. Ah, uh, yes. And I will negate. I have a feeling um, going to end very swiftly. I'm going to negate Herodias's daughter. Okay. And I will band to... Uh, yeah, it's only harm. I will band to your Legion of Angels. Alright. And draw two. Three. Ten uh... It's only your gospel angels, so since I don't control, or okay. I don't own Legion, it's, I don't... It's controlled control. by neither. It's controlled by neither. Yeah, or it's it's controlled by me, but owned by you, so it's not... Right, it's owned yeah. by neither, technically. I, I think there was a thing where it's, like, controlled and owned by neither when you ban your opponent's thing into battle or something, or at least that's what I heard from, like, Argus. Yeah, it's something like but, that. Yeah, I said it. I'm pretty sure it was something like that. doesn't matter. So my block! Yep. What you All got? Right. So I am going to block with Harry to grip of the first, and then Foreign Horses is going to draw two, and um play Clean the Power. I cannot English today, and then that is going to grab a thing with a Bander Act. So I think I'm going to grab Herod's Banquet, and then I'm going to add that to battle, and then band in. Archelaus, and then uh, Herod's Guard, and uh, Herodias, or something, I don't know, my brain doesn't work, and I'm not going to abandon Daughter because she's being prevented, and then I get to discard um, two cards from your reserve. Yep. So, let's see. Um, yep, AOC gone. That's I do not want to see that, and then uh, <laughs> Legion of Angels also gone. I mean, yeah, unfortunately that'll be it. There, it. there are more things. Yeah. Um. Okay, so yeah, protection from here and opponents dominance. Character from Heroes of Resistance. And preventing the next good card played in battle. Oh no, I forgot Hera to grip was the first in the gate. No. Oh well. Oh. Oh yeah. well. Um. Alright, I guess I'll use Legion of Angels to grab a good dominant from deck. And then that'll trigger Jonah. Uh, he's negated by Crown of Thorns. Right, right, right. Uh, except that's being negated by Res Revealer. Um, well, Res Re Re Resurrection Revealer came down first, and then I activated Crown of Thorns, so... Yeah. Yeah. So it had... Oh, it's CBP. Yeah. I have never seen an artifact with CBP aside from Three Nails. Yeah, that's kind of why they did it. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Man, what dominant do I want back? At least I remember the trigger. That's that's true. That's good. Um, let's do. Huh, that would have been cool if I kept that in the stack. Um. I'm actually doing much better than I thought I would, which is sad. <laughs> um, I'll take three woes. Yeah. Yeah, at least you got that. Yeah, I don't know that it necessarily helps me here. Um, hmm. That's a, that's a big hand you got there. I don't know if you want that against Nativity, but... 
Um, all right, I will uh, let them die. I'm surprised that that worked. <laughs> yeah, put a bunch of evil characters in battle and probably likely to go somewhere. I suppose so. I don't really... I mean, now, now I can successfully say I got a block on the type 1 champion. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Alright, let's put down Bethlehem as a fortress. Great. Fair enough, fair enough. And let's... Um, okay, so that's the main thing, doing things right now. Yeah, um... Let's play three woes as good. Okay. And we'll negate golden calf. Yep. I will uh ooh, sad. Alright, yeah, I guess we gotta I'm gonna shipwreck your Noah's Ark. Alright. And we'll play Pretension to reserve your Jonah and your Elizabeth. Okay. And I will reveal Mary and Resurrection Revealer to draw two. And... Yeah. I'm, just, I'm looking at my cards. Oh no, my deck's at six cards. I only have two turns to lay. <laughs> uh, let's, let's drop the good seed. I learned a valuable lesson that it's, day. It's true. That's how we do it. And let's drop... And yet after that, I still uh, I still built mill decks because uh, they were fun anyway. I mean, still fun. Yeah. Um, let's go, let's play I'm Spirit as a Dove. And me running, running just random evil gold crap. <laughs> uh, Spirit as a Dove is going to grab a good card, a good NT card. Um, let's just do Peter. And that would, yeah, that would be good deck. Okay. And I have, a, I have a certain feeling, though I realize that it is your discard phase, so I have nothing to worry about. Yeah, I wouldn't be, wouldn't be too scared. Um. I mean, you're uh, two out of three away from winning, which is uh, scary. Um. Let's let's put down Peter as meek, and I will. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. Um, I guess I'll bounce your Herodias. Okay. All right, because empty two. Yep. Got it. And then I'll play Mace Road. I'll ah, go grab yeah. John from my reserve while I can. And. Still negating characters in my territory. Um, yeah, that is an obstacle. Yeah. It's all right, though. Let's um, I'll put down Mary is not meek and bounce your Rhodes' daughter. Okay. And... And then with that, I think I will pass the turn. Alright, I'm going to draw three. Okay, that's interesting. I'm going to put that down. And then I'm going to play my uh, um, own Empty Tomb Hero in play. Oh. Yeah. See, you too are a man of culture. Yes. Yes. 
Although I'm not gonna lie, that's that's the one empty tomb hero that I did not include in this deck. <laughs> it's the best one. What? I don't it's know. Evil. Period. Period. Right. Protected from evil. What do you mean? Protect lost souls and this card from evil. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess I missed that part. <laughs> I was yeah. just, I was just thinking it was just lost souls, but. Yeah, I missed the part where that's my problem. <laughs> I mean, we'll we'll find out, I guess. All right, so uh, we're gonna do. Um. Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. Virgin birth. Getting Gabe. Yep. Yep. Guess who's back? <laughs> back again. Or, oh, Jonah. I see. Yep. Yep. Jonah. Yep. Yep. And uh, another and another one. I, I'm losing all of my sanity and brain cells. <laughs> all right, uh, TSA time. TSA, toss enhancements with negated. You can play an enhancement with. Hmm. Um. That's active. I'm kind of quote unquote stroking the beard, you know. I'm like, <laughs> how do I out brain cell having zero brain cells? <laughs> because um, I have more zero brain cells to be able to win the game, even though I'm nowhere close <laughs> <laughs> to having that amount of brain cells. Oh, I wish I had that evil character. Maybe I should have gotten him instead. Um. Oh, I guess that works. Okay. Um. Let's block That's with. Exactly. Let's block with Terry. Okay. And I will attempt to discard the strong angel. I'm gonna discard this. Uh, I think your hand's protected, right? Uh, right, right. That is true, I guess I'll discard this then. And I think it's, yeah, it's under deck, not discard. So oh, it is? Not gone for good. Oh. Well. Now you've got six cards in your deck again. Look at that. And then Strong Angel auto play. I'm gonna, I'm gonna band here. Oh. I'm gonna band right, to... Yeah, uh, ban to Pontius Pilot, okay. and I will exchange the Strong Angel with. Um, let's go with Jonah. Oh, that's how, yeah. how, how special. He, he came back just in time to come into battle here. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I'm going to, I guess, let play uh, this to. Heal Jonah, whatever that means, and uh, that's unity. Uh, yeah, it doesn't quite, doesn't quite work there. Yeah, well, <laughs> my brain didn't work. See, I'm running bearing our sin for the star, not for the uh, right, yeah, because basically the whole point of my deck, I mean, it's at six cards right now, the whole point of my deck is to kind of just room room and I have like all the stars I have Virgin Birth and Moses and, right, yeah. and Hopper just to decrease my cards to like um to like forty five. So it's like oh I get one extra dominant. <laughs> right. It's yeah, a that's regular cool. type one deck. It's it's definitely yeah. quick. I try. I try. <laughs> I try. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna pass because I don't think I'm going to Okay, got a lost soul. Oh, also, I just realized that, um, what's it called, the retribution soul, uh, because you targeted, quote, unquote, my hand with the, um, Terry thing, you have to kill a thing. Uh, no, since your hand was protected, I couldn't target your hand. Right. So you had to do the territory. I don't really protect is like you can't target. I thought it was like you can target, but it does nothing to it. Um, 
Either way, I think Terrifying Beast would only target whichever zone you actually under deck from. Fair enough, I guess. Um, fair enough. I because I mean it, it is the same thing, but I guess it just applies to more trigger things. We'll we'll just play it the way you said because. I've been playing competitively, like, not even a year. You've won multiple nationals, so I'm going to believe the expert here. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the way that I've always played it and seen it played. So, okay. um, right, but, so yeah, if you had done your hand, then I, I do believe it, it would trigger. I guess uh, your turn, then. Yeah, um, all right. It's your turn, games. <laughs> all right. Um, yeah, shout out to our sponsor, Audible. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, I mean the the sponsor part was was earlier in the video, but I mean we'll we'll do it again. You know. No, nah, no, nah, just uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Imagine. Uh, well, it's mm. all right. I'm gonna use good seed. We oh, got. Okay. Oh, this is supposed to be in your discard pile. Oh. Yeah. I see. Oh. Oh, wait yeah. a second. Why, why do you put your thing in my discard? Not even my... Okay, well... I don't... Now there's two of them in your discard, though. Yeah, my brain... What is happening? I don't know how that happened. I don't have one in my deck. Oh, wait, no, I do have one in my deck. That's right. Okay, that's right. That's mine. <laughs> I forgot that was the one non-empty yeah. tomb hero that I included in place of Salome. <laughs> okay, I'm I just... Speaking, Gabriel is not empty tomb. Oh, that's true. Yeah, okay, I had two. Right, did I? All right, let's 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 look. No, I didn't put it in. Huh. I've only got... Yeah, I only have two silver... or three silver heroes, yeah. Yeah, my entire deck is Angel Party, so... Okay, well... That card just came out of nowhere, so. Huh? That card just came out of nowhere, I guess. Yep. Um. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, uh, good seed. What are we taking? Um, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take. Emptying the tombs. So that seems kind of fun. All right. Um, three woes will, uh, I guess it's got to stick on your golden calf. Yeah. And. It would be probably bad for you if it did. Right, right. Pretty you're, bad. Yeah, you're running five evil characters, that's something surprising for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Because um, I'd expect you to run less. <laughs> I've, you know, it's branched out no, a little bit. I'm running sixty or fifty-six cards, so I've got room for defense. Yeah, fair enough. Um, okay. I, I so, like to I like to crack a joke here and there. <laughs> um, we like that. All right, I think so. Your heroes are negated. This your Herodias is still on. My heroes are negated, but I believe this. This still works, so I'm going to activate 4D coin on Peter here. Yep. And I'll discard that to draw 4. Okay, and then I will... Uh, put down the Resurrection of Viewer. Not. <laughs> um, I'll put down John the Fisherman as Meek. Yeah. And I will play Life in the Sun to bounce Joseph. Oh, yay. And draw two. No more than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's still good, believe it or not. Yeah, no, I know. I know. Um,. I'm gonna play Gam's speech is good. Yeah, 
But why why does GOC allow so many infinite loops? It's like, oh yeah, I can infinitely loop like in the sun. Now we can infinitely loop on successful. And there and there's two cards that do that now. Oh, with like the uh Merchants of the Earth. Yeah. yeah. Alright, I'm gonna drop these two. I'm gonna pick up your yep. distressed and prosperity or not prosperity punisher. Well, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> and I will put down Joanna. Yeah. And I guess I won't bounce anything there. Um And then I will make a rescue attempt okay. with Joseph of Arimathea, convert him to Meek, and choose Herod Archelaus to block. And let's see, here a 9 10, I'm an 8 3. Let's see, and you can I discard a good card. Yep, and you can discard a good card from a reserve. So yeah, so if I you want to, you can go to your own reserve. Just saying. Oh, uh, yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> yep, yeah, uh, get rid of his sacrifice. Mm hmm. Alright, my initiative. Yep. Let's drop Baptism of Jesus. Yep. Used by a meek hero, so I will negate Herod, draw two. Banish him. And I will actually banish Herodias, and then I'll play right. Angel of the Lord on Herod. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, GG. Good game. I mean, I tried. And you you put out a lot of, uh, a lot of counters right away, but I think the, the fact that you didn't have the right defense right away to, so I could sneak in those early ones definitely helped me out. Yeah, I, I made a minor deck building flaw. Of uh, not having Herod's Temple? Or... Uh, no, I don't actually care about Her Herod's Temple. Oh, okay. I put um, Archelaus and Agrippa in reserve, which was not a good decision. Oh, sure, yeah. Was, yeah having Herod Agrippa on, the, on that turn, I suppose, would have been good, because it was banding. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, the main objective of my deck was to kind of just play a ton of cards that kill your evil characters, kill your heroes. Sure, yeah, I kind of like the... Yeah, it was meant to be a Territory Terror type thing with Angel Party bands. Okay. Um, the problem was that I wasn't able to get all the cards for it. Because um, I literally built this deck in two hours. Like, I had no idea what I was doing. I was like, <laughs> Seth, I need you to help me cut cards, man. <laughs> Zed, nice. yeah. My game against Jaden is in two minutes, man. <laughs> Cut the well, now hopefully you'd have a little bit better idea of uh, you know what you needed, what you didn't. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see where you go with this deck, cause, and I, I was I was pretty tempted to keep three nails in here, but I ended up cutting it. I was like, uh, if he's playing a really fast deck with a lot of counters, I might need it. I but mean, you ended I, up not eating it in the end, but Yeah, I I think they came out or like my my answers or kind of like workarounds came out at just the right time yeah, to I'm gonna be honest, I got like one of the worst hands possible with this deck. Yeah, you didn't have I guess you I had Virgin know. Birth, but you didn't have like Moses or you know, Bearing or Sin yeah. or whatever. Yeah, I didn't have Moses, didn't have Bearing or Sin, didn't have any of the Matthew cards. Right. Yeah, it was kind of, uh, when I looked at your hand with Emmaus Road at the beginning, I was kind of like, all right, this this isn't going to be quite as bad as it, it could have been. You know, the draw two off Magnifying Multitude, I guess, was good, but since you didn't have Soul Gen, I was actually or a way to something else. Card deck against you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, we would have been here all night. Yeah. Uh, yeah well, good game. Yeah, good uh, game. Thanks for... We'll have to play more often. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm getting back into the, the swing of things now. I think this is the first game I've played since Nationals, so i am been kind of yeah. taking it easy, but 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's fun to, to try new stuff. I can get an advantage. Yeah. I've already got one in R and R S. There you go. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, are you guys uh, starting up tournaments up there yet? Um, we played like one, but we're gonna do one like sometime this month, and then I don't know when the whole thing is. But we did like one mini one where there was only like two rounds. Okay. Cool. Sweet. Well, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for uh, being flexible with the, the timing and for yeah, absolutely. Uh, letting me record and everything. Hopefully, people enjoyed the game, seeing all the new GOC nonsense. Yeah, I'm a, I myself am again a content creator, so I just don't. I just take a long time with editing. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, I for want sure. If, people uh, actually interested in the game, so I'm trying to like do all sorts of flashy stuff. Yeah, yeah, I watched your video with Rob. That was kind of, uh, it's fun to watch. Yeah. But, so, yeah, guys, check out uh, LOJ Games' channel. I'll put a link to it on the, in the description as well. And uh, that, I think we're good to wrap it up. Thanks again. Yeah, yeah you too.